Unwanted bow bounces are one of the most common problems string players face. To better understand what causes this and how to fix it, I like to use a tennis ball. If you drop the tennis ball from above, you'll notice that it bounces on its own momentum. But if you control the weight of the ball as it approaches the surface, you'll see that there's no bounce. The same principle applies with the bow. If you control the weight of the bow as it approaches the string, you'll notice that there's no unwanted bounces. Sometimes we want the bow to bounce, like when doing ricochet, but other than that, we want to have a controlled approach to the string. Here's a few doing exercises to help you get this feeling. Start with your bow above the string, and then with just the fingers, lower the bow to the string without making any noise. Try this at all parts of the bow, especially near the tip. Doing this exercise teaches you to control the weight of the bow as it approaches the string. When you're lowering the bow, do it by just straightening the fingers like this. This isn't actually how we're going to lower the bow to the string when we play normally, but it's good for training the fingers to control the weight of the bow. After doing this, you should notice that you already have better control over the bow weight. The next exercise is to practice approaching the string as if it's a smooth surface. Start by first approaching a smooth surface, like the wood on your instrument. You'll notice that when you approach a smooth surface, your fingers instinctively open up like this. And that's the same feeling you want to have when approaching the string. When you get used to treating the string like a smooth surface, you'll notice that not only will you have a better approach to the string, but your sound will also improve because you have less tension in your bow hold. The third exercise to train you to have a better approach to the string is to start with your bow above the string again, but raise your bow above and then lower it down to the string with just your hand, like this. You're going to start above the string, first bringing it up and then down and then approaching. Try this also in all parts of the bow. Notice that when you do this exercise, your arm stays slightly above the string level. And that's all you want to have when you're actually playing too. It's a good idea to incorporate these exercises into a passage. One way you can do this is by practicing approaching a smooth surface and then starting your passage. You can also incorporate the other exercises by raising the bow above the string and lowering it to the string before you start each bow, like this. And also with the other exercise. Practicing these exercises will give you better control over the bow, because when you get good at approaching the string without having any unwanted bounces, you're training your bow hold to have better control over the weight of the bow, and this is going to improve your sound as well.